Welcome back everyone for another Evertail video. So today we are going to be uh, doing some AI gameplay and kind of like uh, seeing how Merlin plays out. Uh, we're going to be using three teams mainly that I want to uh, kind of play around with. First one's just Merlin solo and I'm assuming this will work really well just because of mage stand and kind of seeing how that works since I guess um, I'm I'm assuming it's gonna alternate between uh, drain attack and mage's stand since she's gonna need to generate spirit somehow, and she'll automatically be able to do that 500%. This is gonna be against lower level enemies, so this is kind of like a um like if you hyper invest in her. So everything against the I guess event gameplay is gonna be kind of like hypothetically if you invest heavily in her because she's essentially double the level of all the enemies and then later on we're going to be uh, throwing her into a uh, arena and seeing how she works out at, as a lower investment unit because she's going to be fighting enemies that are much higher level than she is so first one is by herself try out her uh, mage's power which is acts kind of like a final stand but better the other one is i'm gonna try to uh, manually use her and see if we can uh abuse kind of a system and make a workaround to possibly trigger certain effects multiple times and yeah and just kind of testing out and see if like it would theoretically work because I don't trust the AI that that much to say it's reliable, but just to see to see if it would work or not. And then the third one is, I guess, like what she would kind of actually look like on a actual team. And I have uh, I have her with like weapons to like try and balance out her power a little bit, and I didn't give. Like my first ones, like any weapons or accessories, just to try and make them a little weaker. But it's yeah, there's there's a there's a very big difference in power. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the solo one since um, I'm going through the event right now, and as you go up, they get stronger. So let's see how her her final stand works, I guess. Or her needs need to stand. Wow. That's interesting that it shows 300% because I'm pretty sure it should be 500 since she's a oh, ooh. Yeah. She's frozen, we'll do that. Thankfully, she does have a recover move, but really hope she'll uh, target the Yuki soon, or else it's gonna look real bad on her part. Because <laughs> she's, uh... yeah, okay. I was like, she, 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 she's very over leveled, and it would look real bad if she lost this. Just based off the level difference. But yeah, it, it works pretty much as expected. Like, uh... If you're really over leveled, then... And it's a very high investment character, then... Yeah, it, it can work. Let's now try to abuse some systems. You're not gonna kill anything. You're level one. I'll just grab some spirit. No. Kill my characters. You I might want to save for a little bit. Come on. Kill those other two guards. You can do it. Kill them. There we go. 
Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah. You have stun absorb. Well, then. Oh, you can't necessarily actually step back. Oh, can I not pull back? I need one more. But I can... I can call big dummy, but what I really wanted to test out was a step back and emergency exit. Hmm. I think I did this wrong. Let me do this again. Just kidding. We need one more. Kill my characters. Kill them. There we go. There's one stun. Yeah, that worked. Pull that. More stun. Call. Get some spirit back. And more stun. Yeah, so that actually kind of works. exit and then do one of the two. Oh, but it's locked down. Dude. Okay, if you're an attack, that's what I'm do. What I need to happen is I need them to kill the Chikigami. I can resummon it. Yeah, I, I messed that up too. Hold up. Uno mas. One more try. is kill the stun, stun absorb, uh, sacrifice the guards, um, I'm gonna just attack, and then what we want is I guess we're halfway there, 50. That, that might work. Yeah. I'm gonna save the step back. 
done all. Uh, yeah, you're 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 gonna die eventually. And then we want to then step back, have her enter. And see if she can Okay, so she can do multiple stun all exits. I think that, that was that was that was my main question. Okay, so she can do multiple stun all exits. Um I don't know if you can step back again. Well, you can now. Oh, oh, actually, no. Okay, so the symbol shows that you uh, unlock it, but it doesn't actually necessarily unlock. If that's just the time. That's just the time. You can't actually uh, stun all exit again. care about efficiency step back and exit all should essentially work the same since it's usable once per battle so it doesn't matter if and step back's just much easier to trigger To mess this up. Wait, I need. Oh no, no, no! That would have worked because then the guards would have died. Pretty much seeing if I can use uh, multiple step backs or not. By using um, the Kaushik Gami. So we did one step back and now we're just waiting for one of our auto guards to die, which is now. And then, sure, why not? Done all exit. Uh, call. So we already stepped back once, and now we just have to wait for this guy to die. Get some spirit back. And now we're seeing if we can step back one more time. Nah, okay, so it really is. We cannot abuse the system. It is really a one time thing. Because. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it works for um, other stuff. If you like push back, step back, banish, etc., etc. But uh, I guess now we know. It really is one per battle. But if you do have um, pull back, etc., you can still check it past it.
so it's it's pretty much still the same of uh, what we originally expected. So now this one, we're just gonna let the AI run. And see how she would sort of perform on a normal team. A very overleveled normal team. Whatever that means. Or, you know, you, you can just watch some gameplay of the event. Okay, so I'll put her in front. I'll make her front first floor so that she has some screen time. Yeah, I was, I was kinda hoping Bride Lugmilla would step back, but I don't think she's too worried right now. And it, it, it might take a little bit longer. I will switch you, I guess. There are no guards. And now you're in the back. Or now you're in the But, yeah, triggered that. Probably get a better idea in how she'll actually perform when we uh, go in the battalion and try to, yeah, just fight higher level uh, players. I feel like it, it, a hundred, I don't know, a hundred's not too terribly long. Like, you do entry, use one attack, and then your very next uh, turn, you'll probably be able to pull it off if you have enough spirit. Was 80. 80, 500. That's actually really good. That was just a normal guard breaker. Well, I guess breaker versus destroyer is a bit different. You definitely need uh, enough spirit in order to get the exit. So, still, still about the same for my uh, first impression. I think the only thing that changed for that is I, I guess I didn't read uh, Guard Destroyer in the time as much. Your guard destroyer is a hundred. Oh, it's okay. So yeah, 
much of that 20 difference, but I guess if she moves too fast and she does a destroyer, then she won't have enough time to do, or she, she still has to unlock her stun all exit. Okay, so let's get into Arena real quick. So this is what I have, kind of the same lineup as the original and have her in the reinforcement since she, someone will die because it's Arena and you to maximize uh, her usage, you probably want, yeah, just so that she can trigger her uh, passive multiple times, hopefully. I mean, that would have been helpful if she was stronger. Oh. That's interesting. She she kept using uh, Guard Destroyer instead of uh, Stun All Exit. And she did again, even though she has enough spirit for it. So I guess a uh, guard destroyer takes priority, which means she's dead. Yeah, because that that bright Astrid is not going anywhere soon. I probably lost this one. Yeah. Oh, so that's 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 something interesting. Uh, guard destroyer takes priority over stun all exit. I don't want to lower my own ranking, so I'm not going to fight myself. I think that's actually... It. If she's highly invested, that's good, because she can keep using the Guard Destroyer. If she's low investment, then that's bad, because she might die before she can stun all exit.
useful was that time thief. That was that was actually pretty good. Yeah. That actually that time thief was actually pretty pretty significant. No Thunderheart for you. So yeah, that that uh, time thief entry was actually pretty significant and, and actually useful, but again, not highly invested enough to survive the stunnel exit. Yeah, this, this doesn't look so good for her because trying to stun units and that looks like a whole lot of burn and just immune to stun. That and I don't know how well it's going to go getting past that right after it. We just had to take away her burn. Oh, we might be able to pull off a stun all exit because we do have the Bride Love Mila. just if we have enough spirit, which we do not. There we go. Okay, so we, we finally got one off. And now we probably skip to the end because getting through the whole rest of the battalions. I'm not sure how, how I would ever uh, show the end of it. Yeah, because yeah, the likelihood of being able to get through the end and just wait through it is it's not the greatest. But yeah, for the most part, she functions pretty much the same as I would expect. typical uh, sleep team but this is more uh, summon entry heavy stuff 
So we're still technically on the first floor. I just thought it was a fun team concept. One left. One more. Oh boy, it's a whole army of brides. That's probably not gonna go super well. That's 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 kind of scary. It's a bit concerning. Didn't she already go to sleep? I don't know why I could have sworn she went to sleep once already. Yeah, these these guards are gonna be real bad to get through. are gone. So I guess that's it for now. So that was the uh, AI gameplay. For the most part, again, it worked the same that I expected it. And again, uh, stun all exit, I don't know, I feel like it was pretty hard to actually pull off successfully. I think we only got it once. Again, uh, my character is not highly invested in, but just that spirit cost, that time requirement, um, everything I said in the previous uh, should you summon video, I think it still still hands, holds true. But I think on top of that, to like add a little bit more uh, insult to injury of like trying to get it off, it seems like she will prioritize guard destroyer over stun all exit as well. So if you have if you're facing uh, enemy bride Ludmilla or Astrid, like we had a lot of them. If you can't get past that, she will not be using a stun all exit. She will be guard destroying. And if she's not highly invested in, she won't be doing as much damage as she should. Plus that is also taking away two more spirit that you're trying to build up to stun all exit. So those are, uh, I guess that's my first impressions, thoughts of the AI gameplay. If you haven't checked out my video of the should you summon, to like kind of go a little bit more into depth about her actual kit. You should check that out. I compare her with uh, the Stormer, Latia, and Cyrus. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, subscribe if you can. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.